Hello, buds. So I think I got my um, background music working again. It wouldn't work for a while there. I'm not sure why. But hey, how how are y'all? How are you? How are you buds doing? Uh, so I'm currently trying to expand my style a bit. So I'm trying to do other styles as well. So I decided why not try a more an a more uh, 90s anime style. So I'm drawing Lorelei in a more 90s anime style. I found some references online. And, uh, yeah. So, I couldn't really do the eyelashes I usually give her, but, um, I did something kind of, like, still very, very long eyelashes that she probably shouldn't have if she wanted to, uh, look a little more human-like. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, so I gave her these very long eyelashes. They're just like not very- I, I try to make them not very natural looking, but it's really hard for me to figure out how to do that in this style. So I don't think I did a super good job or anything. But uh, yeah. So uh, also there are little ghosts, because she is a bit of a medium. So I really wanted to kind of show that uh, with the little ghosties. <clears throat> yeah, sorry my throat. Uh, I already drank all my tea, too, so. Alright, let me go ahead and get started. I'm a little nervous for this, because, I don't know, I get really nervous when I have to do s smaller line art, like thinner line art, because I've been doing thick for so long now that I feel like if I try to do thin, it's just going to look wonky. It's just not going to look great. But I'll try. I'm going to try my best. So... I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna get that even smaller. I think actually I was going to use a different brush for this. Let me find it. This. I think. Once it loads. There we go. I think I was going to use this brush for it. Let me turn down the opacity of the sketch. I always do that for my drawings. So let's see. So, Lorelai is one of my favorite characters right now, mostly because she's so simple. <laughs> like, there's really not a whole lot of detail to her. At all. Even her, like, clothing, I imagine she just wears very simple clothing. So it's very easy to draw her. I play her in a D&D game, which has just made days. And, um... She, I think, when she was first introduced, she was described as a, um, as like a simplified humanoid, which is the perfect way to describe how she looks. Because <laughs> she is very, very much like a simplified human looking character, uh, just without a mouth. Most of the time without ears as well, but like if she puts her hair up or like does a style or anything, she will sprout ears. Just to make people a little bit more, a little bit more comfortable, because she's still, she's a little oblivious to some things, but she still understands that she kind of, not she's not in Kenny Valley, but some people do get a little creeped out because she looks a little human, like she looks just human enough sometimes that it's kind of like what. <laughs> so she kind of, in my head, she kind of nears that sometimes. She's kind of close to it. But not quite there. Am I doing this too thick? Um, well, this is a learning opportunity, so we'll just keep going. <sighs> Should I fix it? No, no, no. no that'll be fine. Alright, let's do her little loop. For her currently, it is called the idiot hair. Which I love. I actually have one of these, so it's kind of funny. Like, in real life, I mean. My hair sticks up. It's also called a cowlick, if I remember correctly. Because it looks like a cowlick to you on your head. That doesn't look right. <laughs> Made it into a different layer. 
for this reason. <laughs> Makes it a little easier on me. There we go. Then let's do just this a bit. In there. And I also fix this up. So now she has her little loop. Her little fruit loop. Don't know why I called it that. That would be funny. It was not that funny. Alright. I feel like with her, it's easier to just draw the hair first. With some characters, I like to start with the eyes or like the nose or like around the jaw. For some reason, I have an easier time with her hair first. I kind of regret making it this long, though. Alright, there we go. Got that little part done. Now for the rest of it. <laughs> Um, alright, so, let's see if I can not mess this up. I really hope that y'all like, um, these kinds of videos where it's just kind of a chill, draw with me type of video, because I do want to do these more. Um, I will say that if there are any, like, weird cuts or anything, I'm so sorry. Because I do have to take breaks at times, or like I'll have to go and do something, and I can't really stay at my computer for some things, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, I'm very sorry for any like weird jump cuts or anything like that. I might also do that if there's like a long period of silence, or I'll just turn out the music probably. We'll see. Once I actually start editing, I feel like I need to fix this. Make it a little bit more there. That look better. I think so. Alright, so got that part done. Now let's do this other part. Let me merge these layers. There we go. So uh, I will say, I'm really bad at coming up with topics to talk about during these, but I'm definitely trying to think of things to say. Even though I'm not very good at talking to people, I'm definitely trying to improve on that. Uh, I think it's just that, whoops, uh, my brain moves before my my brain and my mouth don't move at the same rate, pretty much. I just have so many topics in my head that I want to talk about that I can't physically keep up. So I'm just trying to slow it down a bit. Try to put more thought into what I'm saying, you know? So if you guys are interested in that sort of thing, I'll definitely like do more videos like this. Um, they are probably pretty long though, I imagine. And my own attention span isn't great for long videos, to be fair. So <laughs> editing on these would probably be pretty minimal, I imagine. Just depends, so on how I'm feeling while I'm editing. If I ever get the money to, I might hire an editor, just because I, I'm not the biggest fan of editing. It's just pain. Uh, I feel like I messed this up somehow. Let's see if that helps. It's very, it's a very slight difference, but I think it makes it look a little better. Spread that out a little bit more. Yeah, I like that.
right now I'm gonna do this part of the hair. Um, after I do these, this little bit right here, this, um, I'll actually move on to the face. Damn it. So the thing here is, um, I have my computer very close to me right now, or at least fairly close. And I keep actually moving my mouse. I keep actually moving my mouse and the um, the left click button keeps getting hit by the computer edge. So that's fun. Because I'm using a I'm using a laptop. Which I I get mixed reactions when I tell people I use a laptop. Especially when it comes to like in gaming. I get some mixed reactions. I get I either get, oh, why are you using a laptop? That's really not ideal. And then I also get, uh, oh, cool, me too. And I get mixed reactions about it. And the thing is, like, I know laptops are typically not the best for gaming. But I cannot afford a PC, y'all. <laughs> I can't afford to have one built. And I am too stupid to build one myself. So... For now, until I actually have money, I'm I'm using a laptop for everything. Plus, it's just convenient for me. Like, I'm planning on at some point doing some uh, cafe drawings. I'm planning to go to like a local cafe and just kind of go there and chill and draw. Uh, thankfully, my neighbor owns the cafe, so I don't think she'd mind too much. I don't think it'd be too much trouble. Um, I would definitely like order some coffee. I'm a big coffee person. Just ask anyone who knows me, pretty much. I really like coffee. Probably should be kept away from it though. Fixing this a bit. I used to get a lot more jittery though when I drank coffee. I don't get that jittery anymore. I really don't. Um, I've been falling asleep more often actually after I drink coffee, which is kind of weird for me. Because I used to get so jittery, I would be up the whole day and the whole night. So I don't know if I'm just used to it now or what happened. Um, but I did drink some coffee earlier and I had some iced coffee. It was really good. Excuse me. I don't know if y'all heard that. But, um, what was I saying? It was really good. Uh, I didn't really get as tired as I have been lately, so maybe I'm just suffering from lack of sleep, to be honest with you. It's probably not even the coffee that's making me tired, it's just I need more sleep. Or maybe it's too much sleep. Because I know you can still feel tired after getting too much. Too much of a good thing. Could be a bad thing type shit. These typically- the noses at this point seem to be a little thicker from the uh, pictures I saw. So she doesn't have a mouth so I don't need to worry about a mouth for her. Which is nice. It's nice. I don't have to deal with making an expression with the mouth. To be fair, I feel like she doesn't really do expressions as much anyways. Because she doesn't really fully understand them. She probably does when she's like doing performances and stuff, but she also doesn't have eyebrows. So her eyes have to be like extra expressive to make up for the lack of a mouth and lack of eyebrows, I feel like. But, uh, yeah. I think it kind of adds to her, like, she's pretty unique compared to my other characters, I feel like. I really, really like her as a character, and her whole design is so cute. Though she is in a little bit of a different outfit. Um, I'm not playing her in the outfit she's in in the campaign I'm playing her in. In the campaign, she's wearing uh, red and white striped overalls. <clears throat> she's wearing red and white striped overalls, and I don't know if she's wearing like boots or like 
I don't know anything else about the outfit, to be honest. So I'm not drawing her in that. But, uh, I definitely, like, can imagine, like, if she's wearing red and white overalls, it would be kind of something like this. With a little sweater underneath, and... Uh, she doesn't wear shoes very often, but she does wear socks. She really likes, like, thigh-high socks and that sort of stuff. Thigh-highs and knee-highs. They, for her, they just feel nice, and it's kind of like keeping her in shape, almost. Like, keeping her shape in place. But she does like to puddle, which essentially just means that she kind of just turns into a puddle, I guess. A, t a puddle of slime, which is really funny when she does that. Because she'll do it for, like, different reasons. She'll do it when she wants to, um, right now in the game, they have a bucket that she likes to go into and she kind of just takes naps or stuff in the bucket. So she'll do that when she wants to go in the bucket. She'll do that when she's like, oh, I missed you. And she'll just puddle up around their feet. Or like just, or even if she's just trying to hide or like trying to stay away from someone, she will puddle. So it's just a variety of reasons she would puddle. <laughs> Take a shot every time I say puddle. <laughs> Please don't. Now for the eyelashes. Alright, so... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do her irises because she doesn't have pupils she doesn't really have any detail in her eyes technically so probably just going to do very simple like what I usually do for her is just teal yellow it's just gonna be like teal up here yellow down here that sort of thing so that'll be fun All right, now for the other eye. Oh, whoops. Keep messing up at least one little part. So, we're almost done with the eyes. Let's see. So I want to do highlight there, and the highlight also is going to be in the middle. Boom. Then I also have to line the highlight, if I remember correctly, from the reference pictures. So, highlight there. Alright, there we go. Got those parts lined. Now for the rest of it. I am going to line the ghosts. Just because I feel like that would be more fun right now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. They can be a little bit more messy looking, I feel like. Don't have to go according perfectly to the sketch. I think. They're allowed to be a little messy. Oh, 
I say that as I keep fixing. <laughs> Alright, now we color the eyes in. They're gonna be like empty, empty holes. The eyes of the ghosts. I should save this for Halloween. That would have actually been really cute if I made like a little Halloween drawing with her of her with like a bunch of ghosts. That would be cute. I did a Halloween one shot once where um, she was one of the NPCs in it and she was just wearing an old burlap sack as a costume trying to be a ghost. It was very entertaining. And it was really fun to DM, honestly. Everyone was great. Though we did have to end early. We never actually got around to finishing the end of it, so I don't know. I feel bad for that, but also, like, it was kind of an emergency, so... Amazing route with that one. Right. One eye is bigger than the other, but that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I don't know if this ghost is mad or sad, to be honest with you. But I think, either way, it's pretty cute. I don't know why my brain immediately goes to like Bakugo Ghost. Baku Baku Ghost. Let me stop. The Mario Academia fandom is going to kill me. Keep checking. Um, let me actually. There. Wait, have to save for a second. I actually really need to catch back up on My Hero Academia. I was really sad after I found out that you didn't have to pay to watch it on Crunchyroll. But thankfully one of my, other fr one of my friends is going to be helping me out and um, let me use an account of hers to help me watch it and other anime that I need to catch up on. At some point, <laughs> once I uh, am able to, <laughs> I used to wake up early so that I could like watch anime and kind of unwind before the day actually starts. I need to get back on doing that, but every time I wake up early, I just keep wanting keep wanting to go back to sleep. I just can't stay up, and I really need to work on that. I'm still not sure how I'm going to do this because I kind of have an idea in my head but I don't know if I'm going to be able to implement it so we're going to do some experimenting with that a little bit later on I think I'm not gonna lie, the only reason I hid the hand behind this hair is because I fucked it up. I legit did so bad on that hand. So I was just like, uh, don't want anyone to see it. It still looks fucked up, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I just can't draw hands to save my life, but I think that's the same with like a lot of other artists as well. Hands are hard. So are feet. I need to do more studies, probably.
Okay, I think this is looking pretty good so far. Just gonna make some more little adjustments. Well, one adjustment. Ooh, that didn't take too long. Alright, so. Let me get this. No. Swoop. <clears throat> Got my voice cracked. So now I'm going to do the clothes. I think I'm going to save like this much hair, like all the hair in the back for last. Um, just, just because that'll be, uh, that's one hell of a continuous line. <laughs> and I suck at those, so. We'll see when we get to it. We'll see. Totally not putting it off. Totally not. No freaking way. Yep, oh, oops. I would not be able to do one of those no control Z uh, challenges. I don't think I'd be able to do that. Like, no control Z, no eraser. I... I would not be able to. Or one of those one layer challenges? Uh-uh. I've tried that before and it went horribly wrong. I think I actually deleted the evidence of that. <laughs> I just use so many layers. See what I mean when I say I struggle with continuous lines? <laughs> That's not- you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna work with it. I'm gonna make it work. This is why I use the uh Eraser and the liquify tool so much. Liquify saves my fucking life when it comes to my drawings. Oh my god. Because sometimes I won't notice if like an eye is too high until like the whole damn thing is done. And then I'm like, well shit, I can't fix it now. Unless I want to use like select and then transform and then have to re like paint over what I finished and risk making it look like shit. So the liquify tool has saved my ass so many times at this point. Cause some issues you don't notice until the damn thing's done, so. Sorry I cussed so much by the way. I am starting to think I am a reincarnated sailor. Look fine. Look fine. This shit. There we go. That helped us tremendous amount. Okay. Just going to paste this. You know something I love about this character specifically is. I don't have to worry so much about detail in the hair, because her hair is literally just another part of her slime body, essentially. It's just like 
a sprout of slime, I guess. Like, it's just slime that sprout over her head. I don't know if that made any sense. Still on the eraser tool, damn it. That happens so often, I'll forget I'm on the eraser tool and I'll go to, like, try to draw a line. And it's like, nope. Erase a line instead, bitch. I don't care that I am taking the easy way with this. It's there for a reason. It's a tool. And my hands are extra shaky today, unfortunately. Goddamn tremors. I have- I've had tremors since, like, I was- I don't remember. I just remember that I was actually diagnosed when I was six. And I've had them pretty much my entire life, so... If y'all have tremors too, let me know, because, uh, it's pain. A lot of things are pain, apparently. I need to stop saying that. I really do. I feel like I say pain too often at this point, and it's starting to get really repetitive, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, something else I also tried to do to kind of show, like, she doesn't fully understand, uh, human anatomy, I guess, is I tried to elongate her fingers a bit more, but I think I didn't really do that as well as I wanted to. But, yeah. I'm trying to decide if I want to uh, change it again. If I want to make adjustments to the hand again, just like bring this part up a little bit, like bring this whole part up a little bit. Hold on, I'm still on the fucking mixer. Bring this whole part up a little bit to make the fingers look longer. But then that would shorten the palm, and I don't want to do that because I want to keep that long as well. But I feel like if I just go ahead and elongate the fingers further, it just won't look right with the uh, per perception, per perspective, what, brain? Mixing up words, I, I mean, <sighs> let me stop. I think I'll just leave it as is, very much. Oops. Um, no, that's fine. That'll work. We're going to embrace the flaws here because this is a learning opportunity. Which, flaws in art isn't a bad thing. I feel like that's what makes it more human. It's okay for it to not be perfect. Which is something I'm still trying to <laughs> teach myself, to be honest. Because unfortunately, I am very much a perfectionist. But I'm trying not to be because... That's what's making it hard to post art in general, because <laughs> I feel like none of it's good enough. But 
But I feel like a lot of artists have the same issue, where they draw something and they really like it, but then they worry that it's not quite good enough to actually post or to show to others. At least that's an issue that I have a lot of the time. Like, I like some drawings, but then I'm like, well, is this really good enough though that like other people will like it? Or, and then I, I kind of just psych myself out. <laughs> But, um, I think that's just, I wonder if that's linked to imposter syndrome. If that's like a part of that. Or if it's just general low self-esteem. I don't know if I'm thinking too much about this. It's probably not that big of a deal, to be honest. Um... I'm going to do this, actually, make it look like... There. Make it look like it's squeezing her legs a bit more. Probably not that much, that's probably a little too much, isn't it? <laughs> oh no. That's good enough. Um, now I kind of want to add a pattern to the socks, but also I really don't want to deal with a pattern. God damn it. There we go. I should probably add some more folds there, I'm thinking. Let me trim it out. So I'm going to change up the shape of the foot a little bit, just to fit her a bit more. There. It's not so flat now. Bring this point this up here. Alright, so now I gotta do the other leg, then uh, the the butt and the torso. Oh, I also need to do that shoulder done, like, I completely forgot about it. And yes, I am putting off the back part of the hair so much right now.
You know, I really want to go back to streaming soon, hopefully. I haven't been able to for a while because of my internet, so I'm really hoping that I can figure out something to do soon. Um, related to streaming at the very least. I know I probably won't be able to stream, like, Skyrim, for example, even though I would really love to, to be honest with you. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. But I could maybe stream art again, or just chatting. Probably have to stick to, to those. Probably can't do a whole lot of games. Even visual novels, whenever I tried to stream visual novels, there was some struggle. Which is surprising to me. Okay, that's good enough. Do I want the shorts to be tight? Probably not. Well, maybe like somewhat tight, but like not so tight that there's like a little thing there. Come the fuck on. Should I miss it? No. Okay, be fine. Trying to keep it soft, because she's got a very soft look. So like soft curves and stuff, nothing too sharp.
So with this, I feel like it looks a little too much like she's wearing shoes, and she's not wearing shoes, she's just wearing socks. So I'm just gonna shrink this down a little bit, maybe. Shrink this down, actually. And then that. I wonder if I should do the little circle thing instead of the hair after this, after the torso is done. Okay, let's see. This looks... Um, Probably. Okay, I could probably bring this up a little bit more. So now I gotta do the torso, the butt, and then the fucking hair. Alright, let me merge those layers with the new one. Let's see if I can do this in one one go. Alright, ready? Not exact, but that's pretty close. That is pretty damn close. Just going to fix it up a bit. Let me bring this in a little bit more, actually. Because she has that kind of shape. Alright, we did good there. Uh, now we gotta see if we can do this hair. I'm going to try this. I am. That helped. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me do this. Okay, I'm going to shrink that down a bit more. There. Oh shit, what did I just do? That was weird. Okay. I might take a break after a bit. I'm thinking. So I'll be like taking a break after the line art is done and then come back for the coloring.
That's what I'm thinking, at least. I might not complete all the hairline art, but we'll see. Maybe I'll bring this a little bit more. Now let's erase this little part right here. Then go over here. I'm actually so close to being done with this. Alright, so that part's done, which I'm pretty happy about. So, real quick before I go in and take my break, I will show you guys kind of what I'm thinking for this. So, here's the swatches. So I'm thinking for the little ring. I was going to do, um, change to this. I was going to do something like this. That type of thing. Kind of make it look like very cartoonish looking fire. Then this is very rough, so this isn't actually how it would look. And then just kind of do something like that. Oh, let me change this. Okay. So I do that, and then bring down the opacity. And then I take this and go over it right here. Kind of try to make it look like it's going around. Again, this is very rough. Not how it's going to look. But something like that. Then bring down that opacity. And then what I can do is I can blend this. And blend this and make it look a little nicer. But something kind of like this. Of course, this part would be behind her and stuff, but that's what I'm thinking. But uh, we'll see when I get to it. Alright, I'll be right back. And I'm back. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I was making sure everyone's working. Okay. I ended up getting very distracted. I meant to only take a break for like a little bit. I ended up getting very distracted. Now it's like two days later. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, it was probably only a few seconds in the video, but still, I feel kind of bad for that. <laughs> but I had to decide what I want to do with this. 
So what I'm thinking is I'm just going to real quick uh, do a thing. Do it. So I'm just going to basically do this. Is that about right? I think it is. Just going to do this and then hopefully this looks right. Um that didn't go as planned. Let's see if I can just just do it a bit. Just move it over. Get it as close to what I originally wanted as possible. Even if it's not perfect. Uh see that that'll work that'll work it's fine it'll work so i'm just going to make it very very simple for my own sake sake of my sanity and i'm just going to kind of do this and then i'm going to make it like maybe white and then the background will be black is what i'm thinking so we're going to do it that way Make it a little easier. So I won't be in as much mental anguish. Uh, I, did I miss something there? I missed part of the leg. Okay. Let me fix that. <laughs> uh, I need to go back to this There we go. Is there anything that's part of the leg, technically? Yes, I am horrible at drawing legs. I think I'm horrible at drawing legs anyways, to be honest. I'm working on it. Alright, so I think that'll be good. Now I gotta do the colors. So let's go ahead and do that. I... Hmm. I always... I always, uh do my layers pretty much the same way. So I'm just like looking at them like, why does something look wrong? It's because I have shoes as a folder and she's not wearing any shoes, so. I might still use the shoes folder for the uh, socks. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe. All right, so now I've got to make it again easier on myself. Uh, I just realized this little mistake. And, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and fix those, but it's okay. It'll be an easy fix. So let me just go ahead and I'm going to actually expand the selected area by one. And I'll go back and clean it up a bit later if I need to. And then we'll go and invert selected area. So this way I can do a, the color space real quick. I'm going to do that in this color. There. Alright, now let's go back up here and fix the hair. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't notice that before, I'm so sorry. But let's go ahead and get this fixed up. I'm going to use my usual pen that I usually use for lining, but I'm going to use it for the coloring. I usually use it for both the lining and the coloring, to be fair. But it'll it'll help. Alright, so I think that looks good. If I notice any issues, I could just go back and fix. Alright, so now I gotta do this. Colors, word swatches, there they are. Did this to make it a little bit easier on myself to remember which which swatch which swatch goes where. Why is that hard to say? Really shouldn't be that hard to say. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Now for the eyes. So if you've seen me draw this character before, you'll notice that the swatches are very slightly different. I noticed that in a lot of 90s anime, the colors were more muted. Um, so I wanted to try to do that. I still wanted to keep my usual kind of style. I'm going to make this easier on myself because I can't see that color very well against her skin tone. but. I wanted to try to still make it more muted, but still have it be my style of coloring. 
like close to it at least. So hopefully it'll look good. I used to do purely muted colors, muted and dark colors. I remember though. Which there's nothing wrong with that. I think it just didn't fit my style as much as I thought it did. Um, I was just very afraid of using bright colors. And I think I actually made a character to try to combat that fear, which was Zoe. Um, Zoe I haven't drawn in forever. I only have like one drawing of him. I really want to draw more of him. He he looks amazing. At least I think so. I love his design. He's very, very colorful, very vibrant. And I made him specifically to challenge that fear that I had. And it actually worked. I, I was very happy it worked. So, if there's anything that you fear in drawing, just base the whole character on it. <laughs> just if you're comfortable with it and with, with trying this and you want to like try to get over that fear of whatever it is, make a character based on it. It, it helped me at least, I don't know. It, different things will help different people, so let me know if it helps you if you try it. Why is that kind of creepy <laughs> a little bit? But yeah. That's how some of my characters are. Some of them are because I have trouble drawing certain things, so I base some characters on those things. Like, um, my character Oracle. Wrong color. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. My character Oracle, she has a lot of hair, and I struggled with hair for the longest time. I think I think I still struggle with it pretty bad, but it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. So I gave her a lot of hair to kind of force myself to draw a lot of hair, essentially. Which worked. I'm more confident in my hair drawing skills now, though it certain hairstyles I struggle with a lot. I'm still practicing. Right now I gotta add in the yellow. So I'm not sure how to do her eyes in this style, really. Cause it it's really weird, because usually I have this trouble this kind of trouble with characters that have more in-depth eyes, like they have more detail. She has very little detail in her eyes. They're basically just a couple of colors. Like this. And that's it. No pupil, nothing else. So, maybe once I add in the light part, it'll be fine. Alright, so that... Let's see how this looks. It'll probably, it'll probably look better once it's all done, so try not to be too judgmental of my own work yet. <sighs> I feel like I need to lighten this part. I'm not fully going to lighten it, but I'm just going to do this and then bring down the opacity on it. Yeah, that's better, I think. All right, now for the hair, which I think should be easier. Her hair is very, very easy for me to draw, which I'm very glad about, because I, I don't know. Part of me wonders if I should have made it more detailed. Oh no, forgot to set it so it applies to multiple layers with like this. Now applies to multiple layers, what am I saying? It's just... It can detect multiple layers, is what I meant. So it makes this easier. Then I can just go in and do what I need to do manually. How did I... Siri? What? I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. I probably didn't. I think I have my phone on mute. Because I didn't hear it either. 
I just looked over and saw uh, Siri's like, like little Siri thing came up with saying, "Sorry, I couldn't understand that." And I was like, "Oh wait, I what? Oh, I just now noticed. Oh damn. Okay, I gotta fix that in a second. Let me fix this first. Okay. There's always something that I miss." Um, I'm using the Enma R bucket. It's really nice for- I don't know if it's better or the same as the regular fill bucket in Clip Studio Paint, but I like it personally. It's- it doesn't leave any of the, like, gaps, which is really nice. It's very useful. 10 out of 10 recommend. Anything that's pointy, I have to go back over because it doesn't fill in the tiniest points, though. Just gotta make sure they're all filled in. Alright. So now I gotta do the shirt. Which, what color was I doing the shirt in? Oh, yeah. I was doing it in this kind of pinky purple color. And once again, I'm gonna make it easy on myself. Alright, and then, oh, gotta do that part. Don't know, my voice went up so high. Alright, I'm going to do this one. Oops. Let me take away that. There we go. Oh, I just noticed. Again, I always miss something. <laughs> always miss something, I gotta go back. That's fine, though. I don't mind it too much. It's annoying sometimes, but like, it happens. <laughs> there, there we go. Got that bit. Is there anything here that I need to fix? Ah, uh, yes. I almost missed it. Okay, now I'm going to do this one. So, I thought something just flew across my face. That scared me. Okay. Alright. So now it's this. Make sure I get those little parts right there. Sometimes the folds in clothing, whenever I do like the uh, build bucket tool, sometimes the little folds will have some issues, but looks like we're in the clear here. So that's good. So I don't think she has any accessories on really. So I'll go ahead and work on these ghosts. There we go. Then I'll actually make another layer and I'll work on this little bit. So I'm thinking, uh, hmm. I don't want to make it white. I really don't. Don't want to go with the original color, this one. I can see something. She's in the void, I don't know. But I'm trying to come up with an idea for this. Let's 
try okay this might look stupid it might look good i have no idea yet let's see making it kind of low so low dodge and a bit more here And I don't kind of don't really want to deal with that to be honest with you. I will do a quick thing though. I'm going to copy these. Gotta wait for it to load. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the little shadow. And I'm going to make it so much easier on myself. I am just going to- I copied the line art for the- for the character, and I copied the colors, uh, folder. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word for a second. And I just took them, copied them, put them down, uh, just below the colors layer, but above the background. I'm going to take it and I'm going to make my- shading color purple i think so i'm going to alpha lock make it purple and then just kind of do this i'm gonna make some adjustments here and there Okay, let me do a bit more. I'm trying to figure out how best to do this. Okay. Perspective. And then let's do that, and then uh, I'll adjust a few things, but otherwise I think this will work. Alright, there we go. I like that. This whole thing is going to be pretty simple, I think, to be honest with you. So, let me see if there's anything else I can do. What I could do... I'm considering it. Um... Let's try this. I can make this like a cylinder. So let me go here, okay. Just make sure we can do this. Alright, so let me do that. That'll work. Alright. Grab that again. Like this. Oops. Forgot to unop a lot of that. And there we go. I don't want to do an actual background for this, I'm sorry. Maybe another time I'll do that. I am working on another sketch that um, has an actual background, so... Excited for that. <laughs> I definitely need more practice with it, though, so... It's needed. I definitely like this so far, though. I think it looks nice. 
So I'll just go ahead and I think I'm going to change the color of the line art. Um, let me see. I'm going to look up references again. Because I think usually, I don't remember if the line art is usually black or if it's normally another color. So let me see what I can find. Get to a load. Um, I'm seeing a lot of it is like black or like a darker brown or like a dark gray rather than a black. So I think I might try that. I didn't go as thin as I probably should have. I think, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, I just need to practice, so that's fine. So I'm going to go with a dark gray rather than keeping it black. There we go. Now I'm actually going to do something that I've seen before that looked really good, and it was also in a tutorial. And I think I mentioned this in, like, a video from a long-ass time ago, but I don't remember. Oh, wait, how'd, how'd that happen? What? I could- what? I did not leave that in, did I? I could have sworn. What the fuck? <laughs> That's my bad. Alright, fixed it. So now I got a... Just a line width. A good bit. I think that's good enough. Multiply. And then... Gaussian blur. Trying to make sure I... Oh, I gotta... Turn off the alpha lock. So now I can do the Gaussian blur. Gaussian? Gaussian? How do you pronounce that? I've always said Gaussian, but I don't know. Alright, I think that looks good. I think that looks pretty good. Lowering it a little bit. Okay. So now I just really don't have too much else to do, I think. I think mostly I just gotta do the shading and there isn't much in terms of lighting that I really have to do, is there? That's what I'm thinking at least. I think I'm going to add, I'm going to uh, do this. No, not what I meant to do. Forgot I was on the eraser again. Every time. There. Alright, now I think I'm going to do some shading. Um, trying to decide what all really needs to be done in that department. Because I don't think there's a whole lot of shading in a lot of 90s anime that I've seen pictures of. I haven't watched a whole lot of 90s anime, though I've been thinking about it recently. Because I've heard a lot of really good things about uh, like Sailor Moon and Cowboy Bebop, especially. So I've been thinking about giving those a shot. If any of you watch um, those anime, definitely let me know what you think. Because I've been thinking about it for a while. Let me check references. Um, there's like very minimal shading on some of these, but then on some it's like pretty heavily shaded, so I'm very unsure. Maybe I need to go somewhere in the middle. So kind of like, I'd say what I usually do, kind of. 
or something similar to it. No, I don't need to do that. Not seeing much facial shading when I look. Let me see, I guess. Like I did this. I don't think that fits her too well, though. Whoops. It's okay. You know, I've been told before that my normal style kind of is reminiscent of 90s anime. I'm not really sure how. I can see some resemblances, but like, I'm not really sure. You know what I mean? Like, I know what anime I'd really compare it to, if any. But that might just be me <laughs> being a little uh, not as observant. Alright, we're almost done with the skin shading, specifically. I feel like I went a little too dramatic on the face, so I'm gonna see if I can make some adjustments there. Alright, now let's bring down the opacity on that. And I think I'm going to change the color from black to like more of a dark desaturated blue. Just because I think that would look better. Okay, maybe a little darker than that. I think that's good. And then we're going to do another thing that hopefully will make sense later on. But I'm going to just add a little bit of the background color into this. Kind of make it blend in a little bit more. Oh shit. That was very dark. Okay. Kind of just make it blend in more like this. Now I think I'm going to do the same thing from here. So let me actually do this below this part. Okay. Oops. Blend into the background a little bit more. With this color. 
I actually learned this from another tutorial. I watch a lot of tutorials. Alright, there we go. Going back to the references. Um, also not a lot of detail in the hair with some of these, so... Probably going to do some simplistic shading. Uh, see about highlights. What I want to do there. Oops. Alright, so, thing is, I have not seen a slime girl in, an, in a 90s anime style, so I'm not sure if this is very accurate to how she would have been drawn, if drawn in that style, by like someone who actually knows what they're doing. But that might just be because I haven't really thought to look for that. <laughs> I've just been looking for a 90s anime like shows and to use as references, which isn't a bad thing, but I don't know how how they would have colored slime. I wonder if there were any like slime animes back then, like characters with the like anime with the character being slime. Cause that's not uncommon now, I think. There's a few, like Reincarnate as a slime. I know that's not the full title, but I can't think of the full title right now though. The time I got reincarnated as a slime, I think is what it's called. I think. I'm pretty sure of it. But uh, that one, and then Monster Musume has a slime character. So, yeah. I'm not sure how common that was back then. Those are the only two I can think of off the top of my head, but I'm sure there are more. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Fix that. And then Why is it always at this point in the drawing that I notice coloring errors? Like where I miss spots? I cry every time. <laughs> Alright, so got that fixed. Now we're gonna look at here. There we go, I got that part of the hair done. Now I gotta do the rest. Oops.
Oops. All right. So, I think I may try and see how some lighting will work with this, with the hair, and see how that will look after I finish this shading. Or at least af maybe after I finish everything else. So let me just do this real quick. Alright, now I gotta do this a little bit. So close to being done. Oh, I also gotta do the eyelashes too. I just now checked to make sure I wasn't drawing on the wrong layer. Thank fuck I'm not. Because this has happened before where I got the shading almost completely done, or I got it completely done. And then I, and then I decided to look, and it was all on the fucking wrong layer. I would have been so mad. Uh, alright, so... With that, I think I just need to hold down the opacity a bit more. You know what, hold on. I'm gonna actually go back over this. Bring out that shadow a bit more. Right here. And then I'm just going to do this. I'll clean it up in a little bit. Does anyone else do that thing where, like, when they're, like, focusing on something? I'm really sorry, I'm like, so much. But when they're for- fo da, 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 da. When they're focusing on something, you kind of just tilt your head. It's just like an automatic thing, pretty much. But as I am doing that now. I don't know if my mom is catching that, but... Oops. Now I bring down the opacity. Now I'm going to do another thing real quick. And again, this is going to go under the ghost, because I want the ghost to kind of be their own thing, I guess. So I'm going to real quick just fill this all in with this color. Multiply. There. I'm also going to do that down here as well. Whoops. Right, and what opacity did I put that at? So around 32% opacity. I make it, yeah, that 35 is good for that one, I think. That's good. Now I actually want to take this. 
take the line art for the ghosts. So I'm going to take the, the line art here, and here, and here, and cut it out. Let me, oops, so I cut that out and then I'm actually going to go ahead and fix these up. Because I think I'm going to change the line art for the ghosts to a different color. And I'm going to bring down the opacity a bit. Alright, so now... Let's go ahead and change that color to black. I want, want them to be darker, but I'm also going to bring down that opacity a bit, and then also bring down the opacity of the coloring. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to go in and also just this. I'm also going to make the little base color the same color as the background because uh, the ghost color is still clipped to the main color. I don't know if that makes any sense. But this way I'll be able to do a thing. Should I even add any shading? I'm going to add shading to them. It'll just look cuter. Okay, now the question is, do I want them to look cuter, or do I not want a screen? <laughs> I'm joking. I think this little simplistic thing right here will work just fine. Yeah, I can kinda go over it like this. Okay, I don't think I need to do that, actually. It just doesn't look right, I don't know. But I am going to do this. I'm going to make another layer, bring it all the way up here. And I'm going to take the airbrush tool and the color white. And I'm going to airbrush over the ghosts. Or some of it here as well. And I'm going to do a glow dodge. Uh, or not. Add glow? That's better. This way they have a little bit of an effect. I'm going to make it very low though, so it's not super noticeable. I think that's good. I don't know if y'all notice that. But, uh, I like it. So, then I'm going to go over it, go over this, with that same light color. And kind of add a little bit of that glow there. Very, very clumsily. That's fine. I'm not going for perfection. Try not to, at least.
All right, and then I'm going to do another thing I saw in the tutorial that I really liked, that I pretty much always do with my characters at this point. At least whenever I can remember to. I'm going to take the skin color and go lighter. Then I'm going to put it in the middle of their face and make it an add glow layer. And then bring down the opacity. I don't know, it just looks so much nicer. I personally also like to add it to other places on the skin. So like there, the hand, that hand too. Putting that just big of a brush. There we go. I like that. Let me bring it down a bit more. There we go. So I think we're just about done. Let me check something. Um, looking at how they did the highlights, and some of them don't do highlights, and some of them do. So I'm not sure how to go about this. So let me see. Uh, will this look good? I could do it just on the bangs. I could do. What I did in that one drawing where she's like asking for hugs. I could do something like that, see how that looks. So let's check that out. I also need to shade her eyes, don't I? Um, actually, yeah. Yeah, I do need to shade her eyes. I was checking to see uh, how it's done in the 90s anime style real quick. So I'm just going to real quick. Do this. I think I'm going to make it a purple ish kind of looking highlight. And then do that. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Going to low dodge, maybe? I'm going to use this to adjust the shapes a bit more. How I want them. I don't know if I like that, actually. I don't think I do. Could try this instead. Just some light right here, right here. Then glow dodge. Oh, let's add a little bit more right here. Alright, I think that'll be good. I also forgot to add the shading to the eyelashes. I wonder, now, now I'm thinking about this, when did Oron High School Host Club come out? When when did that anime come out? Now I'm wondering. Because I don't think that counts as a 90s anime. I think it came out in like the early 2000s. It was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid though. 
a kid meaning when I was in middle school. So I don't mean like a real little kid. I wasn't that small. I was actually pretty tall for my age at the time. I don't know what happened. I never hit a growth spurt, I guess. <laughs> I hit a growth spurt too early, maybe. Because now I am very short. Alright, so now there's a bit more purple than I originally wanted. She looks a bit too purple, kind of. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. I may just make some adjustments once this is all done. I can just fix it up a bit more. So we'll see. Once again, doing some little bit of work on this, a little bit extra work. See if I can get closer to where I'm thinking I want it to be. All right. I think that's pretty good. So far at least. I need to do the clothes still, fuck. I- I need to stop forgetting about the clothes. So let me go ahead and go here. Didn't mean to do that. I'm very sorry for the long silences, though. I think I just get really focused sometimes, and I lose track of speaking. <laughs> I have no idea. That's my guess. Kind of lose track of uh, how much time has passed since I last said anything, which I don't know. I feel like during Draw With Me videos, you don't really have to like talk constantly throughout the whole thing, but I like, that's a standard for like other people, like, I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, I, if someone else feels bad for not talking throughout the whole video, like, it's fine to feel bad for it, it's, it's okay, but 
I feel like it's also okay for them to not talk through the whole video. But with me, I feel like I have to. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like that. I'm a lot harsher on myself than I am on anyone else. And I think that's the same thing for anyone else, really. Everyone is harsher than they are. Uh, harsher on themselves than they are on anyone else. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm rambling a bit, but... Is the issue there? Why is it not covering that area? Okay, that was weird. I could have sworn I went over that area several times, but maybe I didn't. Alright, so we're almost done with that part, which I'm very excited for. It looks so nice to me. I'm really enjoying this. Like, I'm still not completely certain of it. Like, I'm still, like, very much like, oh, is it actually good, or am I just... Am I just biased? Because this is one of my favorite characters to draw. <laughs> So yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you think I should do this more often. Try drawing like different styles, especially the 90s anime style. Which there's several 90s anime styles, I shouldn't say THE 90s anime style, but one of the 90s anime styles. If I should continue this sort of thing. Make it into a series of drawing different characters in the styles of different anime from that time period, maybe? Some of them, I'm not sure how they would look in that kind of style, but I would love to try and see what happens. Alright, we're just about done with this part. Then we gotta do the socks. Alright, three, two, one, let's get the opacity down. Ooh, I really like that. Like, this is very, very simple. It's a- I'm doing this very, very simple. I'm not doing the complete anime style, I feel like. I feel like I'm- like, that I'm thinking of at least, the one that I'm thinking of. I'm making some changes. But I really like it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm definitely going to make some adjustments with liquify though, I feel like, later. So we'll see. Alright, let's go ahead to the socks. Thank you. 
I think I'm doing pretty good so far, though. No, that doesn't work. Too excited. I feel like it's just not looking right. I don't know what it is. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'll be right back. Alright, so we don't have too much more left to do. Uh, thankfully we're almost done, so I'm really excited to see when it's completely done. But I think now all I really need to do is merge the layers, so I'm going to move um, the coloring folder for the ghosts up above the colors. I'm actually going to merge that folder first. So I'm going to merge selected layers. Then I'm also going to merge the um, ghost liner and the coloring. Well, shit. That didn't really go as planned, did it? But that's okay, because now I can merge colors and the line art for it. So let me do that. And then I can actually use this. And there. So that fixed it. So let me go ahead and... Okay. So I think this looks pretty good so far. So I'll go ahead and merge all the visible layers. I can't think of anything else I really need to do before then, so merge visible layers, get rid of the layers that aren't shown. Alright, so this is what we got so far. Go make some small adjustments. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna copy the layer just in case I end up not liking the changes. So I can revert back. I'm going to make some adjustments. Of liquify, which once again is saving my life. <laughs> All right.
right, so, uh, let's see. I'm also going to fix this a bit. Um, there we go. I think I want to pull this out a little bit more. Okay. Uh, yeah, proportion, like with the proportions and all, I like that a lot better. All right, so now I'm going to play around with the colors a bit. So I think before that, I'm actually going to do uh, this. I'm going to do Gaussian Blur. Gaussian, Gaussian, however the fuck you want to say it. I'm going to get up to around 14. Then lower the opacity on it. A good bit. There we go. So to about 14. You know what? I'm going to turn it down to 10. And then I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to make three copies of the same layer, which is the whole drawing, I guess. Um, so we're going to do something that I actually saw uh, in a tutorial again. So I'm going to make red, and I'm going to change that to multiply on the first copied layer. I'm going to merge that. I'm going to take the next layer and do green. Was it green? Yeah, it was green. I had to think about it for a second. So now I'm going to do green and also make that multiply. I'm basically going to do the same thing that I did with the red. And then we got this one. I'm going to do blue for this one. So let me go ahead and do that. And same, same thing, same deal. Alright, and then I'm going to change all of those to overlay. Oh god, that's kind of creepy. Okay, let's turn all of them down. So I'm going to have blue be higher than the others. I'm going to have green be a little bit higher than red. Oh no, that red is pretty high. So let me turn down red. Okay, so right now I have it as 26 blue, 25 uh, green, and 23 red. And I think that looks pretty good. I might bring out the blue a little bit more. 228. That is very a very tiny amount, but it does make a pretty good difference, I think. So let's see what it looks like without the overlays. And then with... I think that looks a lot nicer. Actually, mercy overlay layers. <laughs> so now I want to do uh, some more things. So I'm going to go to transform. No, I'm going to gradient map. Let's see. No, actually, no, not gradient map. Uh, we're not doing that yet. I'm going to brightness and contrast. Going to turn up the brightness a bit. Contrast. I'll also turn up a tiny bit. No, actually, I'll turn down the. Oh no, brightness can be up. Sorry, I'm like trying to decide. Okay, so contrast will be just a little higher. So I got brightness at twelve and contrast at three. I'm just going to turn down the opacity on that. All right, now we can do the gradient maps. So let's see what we want. How about this one? Mm. This, no. this could be interesting. Let me make that an overlay. And bring it down a good bit. I think that's nice. I like it. Um, I don't know why there's this weird thing going on here though. So let me see if I can fix that a bit. Oh, I think I know why, never mind. But I still want to fix it. 
There. So I'm gonna undab it. So, um, I do think I do need to make another adjustment though, because that I, I guess it happened while I was doing some stuff with the liquify. Got a little higher than I wanted it to be. And I also want to fix this ghosty. Also, I'm really sorry about uh, any continuity issues with the music or with the, uh, uh, sorry, words are hard today, or with the movements or anything. I've had to stop several times because the last few days have been so much busier than I thought. And yes, it's been days since I started doing this. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> God, that voice cracked. But yeah, so we don't have too much more to go. Mostly just need to add uh, a lot of them I've seen. Sorry if you guys can see this. I These are for references and stuff and they help a lot. But yeah, so we just need to find... Where is it? Um, is it in here? No. Textures? Yes. Need to find noise. Because I've noticed a lot of, a lot of them will have this little. Should I do it both? Yeah, this little overlay on top. I think that's good. I think I'm going to not merge the layers yet. I'm going to actually put my logo on first, so the the texture will also be over my overlay. Over my overlay. Over my, uh, logo. Sorry, I'm, like, tired. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this. Probably won't make it as tiny as I usually will. Yeah, I'll make it tiny. Not as tiny. Still tiny. And then bring down the opacity on it. There. I'd say that's good. And I think we're done. <clears throat> I hope you all had fun and enjoyed it. I hope you all like Lorelei and uh, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you stayed till the end, uh, let me know what's your favorite top of ice cream. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Hope you all have a good day and stay safe, buds. Bye.